months ago we bought our very first camper van. It's a Citroen Relay and it's already converted and now we thought we'll give you a little tour. So here is the driver's seat. We have two seats here at the front and this is a British car so the driving is on the right side which is a struggle for me and it also makes it a bit harder when we are in other European countries. We installed this new digital panel or Jeremy installed this new digital panel but apart from that we haven't done too many adjustments here at the front. We also have a good amount of space in between the seats which makes it easy to move back and forth in the van. We find it very handy. So right behind the driver's seat is the kitchen. We have some bench space here and we have a sink here which flips up easily The sink has both hot and cold water, pretty much like a normal sink. And here is the fridge, which is quite a big fridge, I think at least. So here is our fridge. We have a freezer, very handy, and it takes a whole lot of food and drinks and it stays very cold. The fridge can run on gas or mains electricity. So you have can change the different modes here and the temperature here. And then over to where we cook our food. We have a gas oven with a three burner on top and an actual oven underneath. And to have an oven in the van, I think is a bit of a luxury. When it comes to storage space, we have two cabinets here they're a bit messy inside and we have another cabinet over here additionally we have two cabinets down here on the floor we have one cabinet here where we store our bin which is just a little clip on we have pots and pans and also all our drinking water and here is our drawer and it's our only drawer here we have all our cutlery and utensils and we bought these little dividers to keep them a tiny bit apart but it's a bit messy still. And down here is our last cupboard in the kitchen. Here we have a lot of cleaning stuff, some extra toilet paper, kitchen roll and other miscellaneous things. This is our bathroom which has a toilet and a shower. So in here we have a little cabinet that has things behind the mirror, some extra storage underneath. We found this hanging things, super handy to store all your toiletries and the toilet of course, which works almost like a normal toilet. It has a little flush button here and then a little lever on the side to open and close the toilet. And here is the shower. So down here, you turn it on and you choose the temperature and then you use this little thing, hold it down to shower. In the back of the van is where we eat and sleep. So here we have two sofas, one on each side. We actually did these covers up and in this hole here, you can put a table. I'll show you. So we just put this pole down. The table. So on a rainy day, we can eat here or we can play games, watch series, instead of just lounging in the bed all the time. Take it, Jeremy. And on each side here, we have cabinets filled with clothes. We have also organized our clothes in little bags, which makes it just a tiny bit easier to take things in and out. In the roof, we installed a new light, which actually dims. We have windows on both sides. They slide open 
and they have a mosquito net and they also close dark for the night. All our windows do this actually, which makes it very easy to make it dark when we go to bed. We also added in these curtains, just because I'm a huge fan of this door. But we also have a little bookshelf on each side. Right at the back here, we have some charging stations where we can charge our phone or our laptops. And we have Wi-Fi, very important. We also have air conditioning, a radio, and down here we also have heating. We also installed these, which has been very handy to store like small things like Jeremy has his Kindle, you can have your phone, a little lip balm at night because things do tend to slip down like little cracks here and there. And then for our skylight, we have this mosquito net, we have this which makes it dark, and it opens pretty easily. Good night. So underneath here we have a huge amount of storage. Right now we are storing bedding but underneath all the bedding we have like extra water, we have levelers, games, extra shoes, camping gear, you name it. These ones take a lot. To make the bed all we have to do is take out these, take out the leg, and then we use the back pillows to make a full length mattress. We also decided to get this mattress topper, which is a foam mattress, and for us, it's been an absolutely game changer. We sleep so much better. And now we have a double bed, which is super comfy. I actually sleep really well in this van and it's just the right length, even for Jeremy. And for me, the best part about the bed is that these two doors open so you can look out on the view. So that was our whole van. Thanks for watching, and now we are off. <laughs> okay. It has a little button on top. Is that how it works? I don't even know how it works. Yeah, you turn it on at the, at the tap at the bottom. Okay. And then you push the button to make the water come out. Okay. <laughs> And here we have our towels. You're a towel. You're a towel. That sounds super weird. Where are we off to? It's good. Yeah. Let me see. I wasn't recording. There you were.